Come back, baby. Come back, come back to me. You left me standing all alone. It's not like you, baby. Ah, oh, don't be cruel. Hey, what you gonna do? Tell me, pretty baby, cause I'm still in love with you. Come back, mm, baby. Come back, come back to me. Yes, to Detroit Breakdown. And mo 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 IG report. We have two two things. We have his presidency. There's the train tracks. We have his presidency. They often show that. Like people always gather around with like motorcades suffer to call them by or concessions. Or processions or recessions. The biggest recession, depression since uh, since the Dust Bowl in our eyes. They shooting all the dust in our eyes. Yeah. As the city gets bigger. So anyways. You got his what he was elected to do. And my point, so what is your point? Yesterday I put up that thing. Um, I said, well, the choice between McCain and Obama was pretty much, you know, I mean, because you had Bush. You had Bush for eight years. I mean, logically, it's going to change. I mean, the pattern, it was going to go to Democrat anyway. And the, the, the timing was right. And we know Obama was there, and the, the 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 fact of the matter that he was black, he would have been the first president, the first black president in the history of the United States of America. Uh, there was no doubt about it. I think the Republicans did that for a reason. I, I don't know. That could be speculation. Maybe they were hungry. Maybe they thought they were going to keep it going. I don't see how. I don't see how. Not after that. Not after all that. I mean, the start of 9 11. And then a war over oil or something. You know? Was it a war? I mean, I mean was there enough information? We just went in there and did it anywho. Then did anyhow. So then after that, Obama had his four years. People started to get a little bit impatient. It's like, well, he's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This change here, this change. Change is going to take a while, you know. Didn't, you know, it ain't going to be overnight. Well, I mean, like Trump, Trump's going over to North Korea. Like, you know, oh, why, why is he over there? All right. Probably saying so. All right, get off the topic, Jerry. Get off the topic. All right, this is North Korea. All right. Oh, oh, okay. All right, I'll get off the topic. Okay. Um. So, um. So they put up Romney. Then all of a sudden they had tapes. You know what was it? The forty-nine percent or the forty-seven percent, something like that. Everybody's scared. You know, a lot of people are scared. You know, they're scared. It's like, oh, he's going to do this. He's going to take away this. He's going to take away that. You know, that's what he's going to do. So, uh, and then he said, he said, well, at, at the debate, because they said he won one of the debates, but then uh, Obama came back, you know, because I, I, I was confused. I said, it looks like Romney won these. And everybody said, no, Obama won them. Obama won them. Well, he said, uh, the biggest threat was Russia. To make a long story short, on the way out, when Obama left, you know, he told, he told Trump, he said, keep an eye on North Korea. Keep an eye on North Korea. Yeah, that's 
that's, that's one of our, our biggest threats here is North Korea right now. No, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't want to be fact-checked. Go ahead and do it yourself. Oh, I know. There are several things about me that are like an elephant. And one of them is my memory. It might not be the perfect memory. I just hold on to important things. But in the last year or two, it's been hard because all this propaganda, all this other news is stopping this presidency. My question always has been, all right, what, you get rid of him, what then? What now? Are we, like, wanting everything just to fall apart here? I mean, really. I said in the opener, like, a leader is the most important thing. You know? People look up to a leader. They keep, you know, keep it, to conduct the business, the business of the American people. First. They have to. I mean, yes, it's been a, it's been a known fact that everyone is just you know. There's only so much. There's only so much. And yes, Hollywood, all these people, you know, they feel as though you know they have a right because you know they pay all their taxes. They do this. You know, a lot of people, a lot of these businesses, you know, people that pay more have a right to find out where their money is going to. You know, where is it going to? Like I said in the opener, it's like they said, oh, he's he eats whenever he wants. He's like a king, you know, Kim Jong Un. Eats whatever he wants, any time of the day. It's like he's starving his people, starving his people. I did this show in this town in 2012. You know, my cousin, you know, I, I did a promo. My, my, my neighbor. I forget what I did. I did some kind of story about trees or something. Something like that. Said, West One Radio. West One Radio. 